cool. As you can see, I saw some stuff, so pretty excited. That's going to be a nice chunk of measures I can start with. And I'll be selling more Balance Furies over the days um, until I have enough mesos. <laughs> I'm just listing this extremely high at the moment because there just seems to be none in the market. So as you can see, it's all sold out. And yeah, I've just been lifting it. So I guess I'll lift it even more. <laughs> Let's just see ridiculous, like how much people are willing to pay for this. Like <laughs> I'm going to put a ridiculous price where I'm not expecting anyone to buy. But this is what Monopoly is, guys. If you're the only person who's selling stuff in the market, then anyone will take it at that price if they're actually that desperate. Bruh. One thing I just found out was that... <laughs> look at how many epic familiars I have here. Holy crap. Uh, I guess that means that I'm just going to have to slowly um, upgrade these one by one. <laughs> I didn't know that I had so many before I quit. Alright guys, a small change in my plans. So initially I was just going to buy the 20 to 22 star arcane equips myself, but just seeing the prices these days, it doesn't really seem feasible within the budget that I'll be able to get it. Um, and with the Shining Star Force event coming very soon, I just thought it might be better just to make my own gear. Like to be honest, <laughs> I didn't really want to go down this route, but I really didn't think that I'll be able to find um, like 21 stars at you know, that budget that I was aiming for, 50 bill. And also, my arcane equips are actually decently flamed as well, and um, they have decent pots on them, so it'll be a bit of a waste to just throw it away. But yeah, um, so my plan now is just to buy uh, these arcane equip fodders, and I'll be doing that when I see them for cheap. So when I say by cheap, um, I'm just going to be looking at the market price and having like a benchmark as to how much I really want to spend. So. For example, shoes, probably like 1.2 bill will probably be the max that I want to spend on this. And as you can see for our gloves as well, um, I bought it for 1.2 bill, which is really cheap. Um, even 1.3 bill might be the play here. Yeah, actually, I might just buy if it's uh, cheaper than 1.3 bill. Uh, wait, let me have a look. This is currently... I mean, it's sold for, oh, it's sold for slightly below 1.3 bill, so... But it's also, I don't think it'll, it'll drop like substantially below that. Maybe I should just buy a 1.3 bill. Maybe that's like the dip. Yeah, let's do that. Just, I'll just buy that 1.3 bill. Okay. Cool. So yeah, as you can see, I'm going to be collecting the arcane set for myself. And then, yeah, we'll be trying to star force set ourselves. So I'm going to look to try and have about... Two or three copies of each of these. I don't think I'll need all of them, but better that I prepare early and if I have any excesses, I can sell it in the Shining Star Force event as well. Alright, just an update. I sold my Pixie Mom Familiar, which is Legendary Familiar, for 30 bill. And currently, Legendary Familiars are actually going for around like 25 bill, so um, I listed it actually slightly higher than the auction house price, but I'm kind of glad it sold because my plan really changed over the past two days. What I was thinking earlier was, I was going to actually just buy the Arcane Equip straight out at 21 stars. Um, at like 50 bill I think, probably, a budget of around 50 bill. But, I just realized that there's going to be a Shining Star Force event coming very soon. So, I think the better play is, maybe I get um, the Arcane Equips with decent potential. So, what I'm looking for is actually like 33% um, luck on anything but the gloves. For the gloves, I'm looking for two lines of crit damage. And hopefully, um, my budget for these are going to be about 25 to 30 bill. So hopefully, I get these equips before the Shining Star Force. And then, um, I've been buying the fodder ones so far. Um, just looking for it whenever it's cheap and just buying it. And for these equips, I'm probably just going to sell these later on um, after I have this uh, complete. And then, yeah, we can use that mezzos later on to finance something else. But I think at the moment, my priority should be to actually just um, get the clean equips for that have legendary potential 33% lines and then yeah we'll figure it out from there wait I'm in a big dilemma I just found this at 20 bill that's actually such a good price 30% luck and it's got decent flames as well the flames pretty good and this is only looking 20 bill ooh cause yeah, I was like looking around basically. I'm still looking for 33% and um, I'm just hoping that I do find 33% but if I just go to the cheapest one ever sold, this is what 
Uh, 25 bill for 30 bill, right? Oh, this would be ideal. 25 bill. I'd cough up that extra 5 bill for 3%. But, oh. Oh. I'm actually like considering this at the moment. Am I insane for doing that? This is what I have currently, but ideally I do get that extra 3% line though because that means it will save me from having to pot that later on. But this is extremely tempting at the moment. Because <laughs> the cheapest 33% I see are like all 35 bill ish So I need to get something substantially cheaper for that to be worth it. Maybe I'll wait until cube sale after and then hopefully see more of these in the market. Yeah, I think the play is just to hold out and don't buy these until I get a 33% one for about 25 to 30 bill. I think that's the most worth it. Oh yeah, let's fucking go. Nice. Oh, we are so rich. Oh my gosh, 91 bill. Very nice. Shit, I was on mute the whole time. So what I was saying was that um, I decided that I'm going to be using the growth potion from the Maple Moment Tree event um, on my Evan because this guy was not 210 and you know level 3 link skill for Evan is pretty good for training and that's something that I'll have to do eventually so yeah that's what we're doing here. So now that we're level 3 here that means we can just grind a bit better when we do want to grind but at the moment I won't be grinding because Focusing on my uh, reboot account, of course, but um, yeah, that'll give us an option in the future to do that. So that's good. Uh, that's one less thing I have to do. So I just have one of this. What should I use it on? Eh, I think this is the only character at level 200 um, that is actually worth using the bonk on because at level 210, the level 3 link skill for this guy is more boss damage. So that's something I can use later on. Uh, but yeah, probably for now, um, it won't really matter too much. Uh, how I use it. But yeah, I need to start making some more characters and get our Legion up. I'll probably do that after I grind out my reboot account a bit more because yeah, as I said like multiple times, that's the account that I want to focus on at the moment. Woo! I'm officially part of Boss Hunters. <laughs> this is Dong Kun's guild and um, thank you to everyone who's welcomed me so friendly. Hmm, I just found something in the auction house. So 33, so I'm looking at 33% luck um, equips at the moment and uh, my initial budget was around 25 to 30 bill and then I found this. I actually found this guy a couple of days ago. I think this guy listed it at 36 bill and then 33 and now it's 30. So I'm thinking if I should just buy this. Obviously the flame will need to be redone but that's okay. Um, I can just redo that anyways. But 33% luck, that's actually pretty good. And I can just work on this in Star Force until I get to 22. So I'm actually cop this. Yeah, I think this is a cop. Let's cop it. So I'll just take 30 bill out. Oh crap. <laughs> that was not 30 bill. That's 30 bill, okay. And yeah, I wouldn't say this is a steal by any means, but I think it's good for what it is. Um, and just looking at the marker right now. I really don't know if I'll get any better deal than this at the moment, because this is like pretty fairly priced, I'd say. 30 bill for a triple line um, like with 33% so 33% is like a pot that's good enough that I don't actually have to touch it again I think well unless I want to push for 36 but like yeah that's gonna be like cracked <laughs> 100 bill no nah, definitely not worth it Eighty bill, nope, not worth it. 
Oh my gosh, this is pretty fucking good. Jeez. But 85 bill, no thank you. Yeah, I think we just cop it. Let's just cop it. Alright, 30 bill. Nice. Copped. Holy crap. The 30 bill gone. <laughs> just like that. I need to raise some more mezzos soon. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I actually have this now. <laughs> this is awesome. Cool. Um, So, main potential is done, obviously, but I probably need to play around with the B pots. So, I might use a Van Cube to try and get some B pots on this guy. Um, I also do want to try and see if I can get some B pots uh, on this guy as well, like when I have leftovers. I don't know if the event uh, queues is enough to get this guy to a decent two lines of... Um, uh, bonus potential, but I do want to try and see if I can get two lines because it'll just be nice having that and I won't have to focus on this again. So that's like the plan overall. I probably won't equip this until it's like done. <laughs> that's the plan. But yeah, guys, one down, um, three more to go. So hopefully I can find uh, two lines of crit on gloves, another 33% shoe and maybe a shoulder. Shoulder is very low priority because my shoulder at the moment is actually quite decent. So I don't really feel like any rush to uh, replace this anytime soon. But it would be nice to replace this sometime. So maybe I should try and be a bit more urgent. As you can see, I haven't bought any shoulders recently because the market price hasn't been too... It hasn't looked like too great recently. Um, but yeah, I should really get on it sometime soon. I'll just wait until the market uh, like kind of chills out a bit with the shoulders. Because I think... I remember when I uh, stopped playing on this guy... Shoulders were actually the cheapest arcane equips, but for some reason right now they're the most expensive. So I don't know like how the markets just flipped recently, but let's just kind of wait until we can see a better value for this. Yeah, I think Ink and Wash is a cop. Why is Chandler out of the store? <laughs> she just always invites me and then doesn't do anything with it. Door now, in your clear. I'm dragging. Dragging these weapon. nuts. Alright, uh, let's cop the ink and wash set for 1.5 bill. That's a W, I think. You're rich. What the hell? Nah, I spent 30 bill today because I bought a 33% <coughs> uh, luck arcane cape. Oh, you popped it? Mm hmm. Yeah. It went, did it go down? Huh? Did the price go down or? Uh, yeah, yeah. So that guy had it at 36 bill and then he dropped it to 33 and then 30. And my budget was like 25 to 30, but I feel like 30 is a pretty decent price. I just copped it. Ooh. The black hole. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay. Inca Wash is really nice. <laughs> Maybe I should cop it on the reboot account as well. <laughs> surprise box. What do you mean, cop it? <laughs> yeah, surprise box. <boxing. laughs> You think you can just get it for one bill? Five hundred dollars. Let's go. All right, guys. It's night time, and I found this pretty decent Twilight Mark, forty-eight luck and six percent all stat at one bill. So I'm like, hmm, this is actually a really good deal, um, especially for its price. And I do want to transition into the Dawn set, so I might just cop this now. So I'll just transfer Hammer a Black Bean Mark onto this, hopefully, and we'll be able to work from there. Hmm, an interesting proposition just popped up. Ooh, 31 bill. I'm just trying to think. Is it worth waiting a bit longer for a cheaper one? Probably not, to be honest. Oh, fuck. I'm looking, and historically, it's been 35... Oh, like, it, it was 25 bill for a bit. But it hasn't been for a while. It hasn't been for, like, a month. Although 25 build, oh, that would have been such a cop, holy crap. Oh, fuck. But even 30, it's like 31 build, like my budget was 30 bill. And it was one bill over, but I don't care then. I'm going to cop it, but... Oh, <laughs> I'm just thinking right now, last second. I think this is a cop, boys. I think this is a cop. Uh, let's see, how much measures do we got? I don't think I have that much now. Um, yeah, just 66 bill. Oh, I also have about 25 bill on um, my, uh, whatchamacallit, my Corsair. So I have a bit more than what I have here, but yeah. 
I think I need to make a bit more mesos because I might not actually have a lot of mesos to play with during the Star Force event. But yeah, I'll just cop this. 31 bill, we take it. No hesitation. See? It's just it's just simple like that. Okay, very nice. Putting in our shoe. So we have our shoe and we have our cape done. So this is perfect because um, during the uh, Shining Star Force event, I'll be trying to prioritize these guys to get to 21 stars, hopefully. 22 stars seems a bit too expensive right now, so 21 for now. And yeah, I just need to get the gloves and the shoulder, but I am conscious of my mesos. Right now, I have about 65 build to my name, so if I go like within budget, I'll just barely be affording my um, set, but I won't have any mesos to play with during the Shining Star Force, so I'll have to start selling like some other stuff here. Um, but yeah, that'll probably be my aim, just to try and raise a lot more mesos over the next few months, and then hopefully, you know, like, once I can make these equips, oh, once I do make these equips, um, I can sell what I have here for, like, a bit of mesos, so I, I'm not, like, too worried about anything, but yeah, I think I'll need to start, like, trying to sell some of the stuff I have here as well. <laughs> I have, um, too much mesos in equips and not enough in actual mesos here. Alright, Meister Cubes on this guy. Try and get this to legendary still. Also have these cubes. Damn it. Damn it. Off to cube. Um, so yeah, once again, this guy. Come on, tear up, tear up, tear up. Oh, finally. Legendary, let's go, let's go, let's go. Two second cooldown. Unluggy. All right, another big sell. So I sold my spare Princess No Floral Jewel. So for context, just before I quit playing this account, I was like thinking, hmm, maybe I should start making a spare uh, secondary weapon so I can just work on it and see if it's better um, and then sell what I have existing. But just thinking for a bit, I was like, hmm, do I really need to work on this? Not really, right? Because I already have my current secondary, which is quite decent for the time being. And also, yeah, like this, I feel like I could spend 15 bill elsewhere. All the secondary weapons on the market are currently like, they have lines on it, oh, I guess this one. But this item has really good bonus potential lines. Um, but everything else here, uh, as you can see, like they have like decent lines. So I was like, hmm, how do I price this? So I just like looked at the market and yeah, the minimum was like 13 bill. So I was like, eh, maybe slightly more. So 15 bill is how I just arrived at that conclusion. But yeah, maybe I could have pushed for 20 bill, but Nah, I don't really think so, to be honest. Yeah, let's have a look at the Princess No. Oh. So I had a look at this earlier, and this is how like I priced it in the end, but I'm just curious, how do I... Okay, so this guy's 12 bill, yeah. It's like, it doesn't really sell very often, I don't think. So this one sold for 10 bill, which is close enough, but... um, Oh, oh, here. Yeah, 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 I remember seeing this, and then I was like, wait, it's only 9 bill? So like, yeah, I was like, hmm. So let's just put it off for 15, and if someone buys it, then we take that, right? Because, like, um, the comparable ones are all cheaper from what I see here. So the one that I sold was actually, like, the most expensive one um, up to now. So, yeah, we just take that for now. And that means we can uh, reinvest this mezzos into star forcing, which is going to be very exciting. So just as an update, I hit level 255 yesterday. So this is the end of May. And um, I got that through just coin capping and 
just grinding a bit while also grinding out a bit of familiar cards because I'm conscious that I do need a better familiar. But yeah, in this process, I was able to farm quite a few familiar cards, which I haven't revealed yet, which I'm going to be leaving for now. But the next things in my to-do list is probably going to be Liminia prequests. Um, so I unlock that area and also probably just try and grind to 260 so that I can start working on my sacred symbols. I'm probably just going to do it a bit slowly, not too like rushed because I'm trying to focus a bit more on reboot at the moment with grinding. Um, but yeah, this will probably just be something I do on the side as well. Anyways, without any further ado, let's do some familiar card revealing. So, I think I have about 80 here. So wait, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, I've got around 88 familiar cards here um, at Unique. So, I'm going to be revealing them one by one. Familiar cards have really gone up in price because there hasn't really been an event for selling these familiar cards. So, last time I played, I think there was like a legendary um, booster pack kind of cash off event where it was really easy to get a legendary familiar. And around that time, legendary familiars dropped to about 5 bill each. And I was able to like buy 4 of them. Um, but as you guys have seen already, I've sold them in the auction house because I thought that um, I could probably make better use of that uh, Mezzas at the moment rather than just uh, using that familiar cards on my Nightwalker. So yeah, instead of just uh, equipping those legendary familiars, I've decided to take the painful route where I'm trying to level up my familiars and hopefully get like a decent set of uh, bossing familiars here. And, you know, later on we can work on replacing that because, honestly, I don't think it's really worth going for Legendary Familiars at the moment, especially for me at this uh, position. Because Unique Familiars, I'm pretty sure I can get like 40% boss damage, whereas Legendary Familiars you can get 50%. Um, so, like, it's like really marginal and especially for a character of my progression, I think I can make better use of those mezzos on, like, my proper equips like Arcanes. So that's the reason why I decided to sell them in the first place. Um, but yeah, so with these familiar cards, I'm going to be trying to hope that we get some boss damage. So yeah, let's just start revealing. Oh, before we actually start, let me rank this guy up as well. So we get that extra uh, unique familiar as well to show here. Will I get the tear up with this? Let's find out now. Yes. Woo, okay. Because ranking this guy was actually going to be quite painful if this failed again. I would have had to gather five suspicious fork familiars. Which is not very fun because it requires me just going on different characters and um, just buying it out. But yeah, and I guess like a really annoying thing about upgrading these familiars wasn't that actually just grinding these. It was more so that it actually took a while for you to uh, upgrade it, like rank up. Whenever you click the rank up prompt, um, it takes like 4 seconds for it to register and finally go through. So I think like for me, it took a while just clicking the rank up um, and like fuse options. But yeah, with this, let's just start. Um, so I'll leave this guy to last because I'm hoping that we get something good here, but I don't really think so. Um, yeah. Speed. Okay, MP. Movement. Okay, and also I should just uh, I'll unlock these as we go through. Uh, that's okay. Okay, nope. Large MP, nope. Oh, <laughs> nope. Magic damage. Oh, wait, I'll just go through one by one. Oh my gosh, where am I up to? It's so hard to keep track of because I have so many here. Uh, large HP and MP, party jump, i light in red, HP, I can make use of the HP ones, okay, not the HP one, skill, I'm hoping we get like a hybrid, uh, okay, Oh my gosh, 5%, oh, never mind. It's not good. Oh, 
20% boss damage. Oh, okay, this one's okay, because I have both HP and MP recovery and boss damage. So this is actually a pretty decent one. I'll keep it for now. Large amount, nope. Holy crap, so many trashy lines. So what do we have left? Cheese. We only have 30 left now. Come on, give us some boss damage. Oh, three seconds of invincibility. I might just keep it just because um, there might be times I can actually use this. So, for example, Tower of Oz, um, but it's not that useful. Crit damage. Wow. Rolling on these familiar cards are so hard. Holy crap. We really do only get 20% boss damage. Oh well, so I guess I'll just keep grinding these out until I get something a bit better. But one thing that's really annoying is that it's so hard to navigate if you have a lot of familiars here. Because, oh, wait, actually I have one more. Um, yeah. Because there's just so many here that it's just hard for me to, like, know where my cursor is. So, hopefully I didn't miss any here. But I think I had a few more here, didn't I? Oh, no, I had this lucky last Eckhart. Let's see what we get. Okay, increase item drop by a large amount. Great. <laughs> so I think besides that one boss, yeah, this one. Um, I think everything else is, like, a disenchant. Oh, the three second invisibility one as well. Besides this and... Oh, wait, we missed one more. Nope. I think everything else is just a disenchant. Um, I might just feed into a new Fabirian Familiar so that we can just, uh, you know, start a new set of them. But as you can see, I have 200 slots. So that's why I was, I was able to uh, reveal 80 of these. I got this because I was playing this character while um, we had that Familiar revamp and they gave us extra Familiar slots, but I think it's really expensive to get more slots right now. You can buy these from the cash shop, but but it costs quite a bit of NX, so it's not really worth doing unless you're doing like massive bulks like what I'm doing, I feel. Wait, I just realized I have the exact same familiar here. <laughs> and I will see you guys in a month time with the familiar progress again. <laughs> All right, uh, this is something I should have really done quite a while ago. <laughs> but I was just being way too lazy. And uh, I hit 255, so I need to start doing the Liminia pre-quest. So yeah, let's just start doing it, and hopefully we'll unlock Liminia soon. I heard that it's going to be a pretty short uh, pre-quest, so I'm just hoping that I get through it within like half an hour. Like, Reboot's really been eating a lot of my time. 
And besides that, I guess the only thing I've really been doing uh, is coin capping and just leveling up, leveling up my familiars as well. I uh, haven't really been doing too much. I attempted Hard Lotus last night, and as you can see, I don't have hands. <laughs> I was, I'm pretty sure I was like, I was doing all my bursts wrong and stuff. So I kind of need to sit down, uh, review the VOD, and just figure out like my burst rotation and everything I should have done like properly. But I think like once I get uh, a better set of familiars, it's going to be a bit easier. So. I'm just hoping that we're able to get some better familiars for the time being. So my focus right now is just to save up and also get as much familiars as I can um, with like hopefully 40% boss damage on Unique. Um, but yeah, we'll just see because I think we'll be grinding for a while anyways. Is our battle with Orchid? Oh wait. Jokes. What the fuck is she? What? Oh, okay. So I'm not allowed to fall down. Uh. Wait, what? Oh, you have to keep going upwards. Oh my gosh. Okay, take three. <laughs> this time I'll pass, right? So stairs should appear, if I'm correct. Yes, okay. So stairs do appear. Just have to go up the stairs. Jeez, how far do we go? <laughs> Oh, there we are. The question is, how long will it take until I find a map <laughs> in 1-4? Uh, oh, surprisingly not too long. Although I feel like it's going to tell me to CC soon. It's going to say quickly and then duck. Oh, he just died, so it's probably going to come back. No! Can I fit in my 200 kill quest before he comes back? Let's find out. Okay. No, it looks fine. Oh, we did it. That was easier than expected. I thought that this map would be completely packed out. Okay, yeah, he's coming back. <laughs> All right, let's just duck before he starts complaining. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous that these maps are so popular that you can't actually like complete the pre-quest because <laughs> it's hard to find a map. Um, but hopefully we won't have this issue soon. And we're finally done with the storyline. I took a lot longer than I expected, but uh, we got through it. That's all right. And that means we can start grinding in, wait, where am I? Oh yeah, we can start grinding in Liminia then, which is really nice. Um, I don't know exactly which maps I'll stay in because I don't actually know if there'll be any free maps around. <laughs> so I'll just have to like walk around a bit figure it out like people are training these trash maps because like there's no space in the popular maps so um i think we'll just take a bit of exploring and then just figure out which map i might want to uh stay in oh my gosh i literally spent like two hours <laughs> putting these all up from epic to unique <laughs> it takes so long holy crap uh and i probably ate about mm, 100,000 Fabirian Familiars, somewhere around there. Uh, these were selling the auction house for 30k each, so it's not that bad. 100k, that's what, like 300 mil? And in return, I have 80 or so Fabirian Familiars here. So yeah, uh, you guys know what the goal is. I'm going to be revealing these one at a time. Uh, I'll probably do it in the Bunnies Discord, and you guys can hear live commentary as well, if I find anything. Do you already have boss? I saw a boss fan. Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is my barrel. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, was, I have 80 to reveal. <laughs> Bro, fuck me dead. <laughs> Clicking this took so fucking long. Uh, oh my god, he has 200 fam slots? That's yeah. that's broken. Oh, Dude, he's a was... fucking old player. Legacy well. player, yeah. bro. Legacy. You can still buy it in the auction house. Oh, in cash shop, but regular. So, oh, Ooh, that's a lot of healing. That's a lot of healing. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> I gotta keep that. Bro, it's so depressing. Like, I did this like last week as well and just got like nothing. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, and now try this in reboot where you can't buy half your fucking fam. <laughs> yeah, because these are 30k each. 30k? Yeah. That's like, so uh, cheap. Each familiar card. So I just bought like 100k over like the past week. 
Is Steven still tagged there? <laughs> he shouldn't be, yeah. my fucker. That's why he's lucky. Yeah, keep the, keep the criminal locked up, bro. <laughs> that guy's a fucking criminal, bro. He be doing oh, shit. This got scary. <laughs> nah, that's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I lag. Oh, it is I do. I do. No, yeah, I think I lag too. Oh. I'm back. That was you. You know, like when I loaded in and you're lagging, Damien was just floating in the air doing nothing. <laughs> that is crazy. Alright, guys, my Corsair is somehow gonna be two set with a 17 eye patch. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, trust me, I won't let that happen. I'll put party later on if it actually drops. Bruh, yeah. my meso's got something else yeah. to say. Personally, wouldn't let that slide. <laughs> yeah, personally, like if it was me though, I wouldn't let that happen. <laughs> oh, sure, that's a pretty good. Uh, it's not too fan. bad, right? That's a healing fan with uh, 5% attack. attack. That's, yeah. that's a mega copium, but yeah, it's pretty. Yes, it's, it's, it's okay. not bad. Me, it's, it's not it's bad. Not yeah, but it's not great. It's not bad, but it's not good. Yeah, yeah. like yeah, you rather it. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just keep it for now. No, no, keep it, keep it, keep it for sure. Uh, okay. Two percent crit damage. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, meso drop ray? Is that even good yeah. for? Get All right. <laughs> What's wrong? So much healing. Still oh, can't get over the dog, dog blast. Boom. <laughs> Literally, you got fucking stamped. That's how fast my meso disappears. <laughs> Item drop, large amount. I already have uh, like I already have like on four familiars. <laughs> Why don't you roll legendary fams for mm. thing? Because it costs money, bro. Oh. oh, also, legendary familiars aren't worth buying for me. They're like 30 bill. Oh, 30 bucks. Oh, yo. Not bad. Oh. Pretty good. Mm, That's okay. cheated, bro. Damn. Drop the Sean's, justification. It's okay, bro. Sean's doing the science for us. <laughs> he right, buys. I'll do this. This will be bi weekly. <laughs> Yeah, he, he'll get buy fams, so we can calculate on average how much it takes to get one. Large drop? Do you have that already? Yeah, I have that like oh, on 6 oh, okay. million in this account. Oh, okay. Yeah. The unique one's the same as the epic one, eh? Oh, oh! Yeah. Oh! 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 oh. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Oh, oh what the fuck? Wait, what the hell? Wait, that's end. Large <laughs> <laughs> That's actually not bad. That's not bad. That is that's super cool. good. That's large Oh my hero. gosh. Oh. That was a good fan. Okay. Yeah, last drop is uh, epic line only. Yeah, yeah. You, oh. you, you will get on unique. This like, guy's seen it. That's not too bad. Oh my gosh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it's garbage. This guy's seen it. That is not bad. Watch Sean Bob get large drop rate with 40% boss. Oh my, Double what heal? the fuck? Nice. That's a lot of healing as well. That's for your V-Hiller solo. <laughs> oh my gosh, MP. You can be like super like mid maxi with the fans. You can just buy them. Hmm? Buy no, if you want to be super mid maxi, you go legendary. Yeah. But you get like two line boss on one, then a third, then your next fam is like another boss, then you get one line IAD, and then the third one you get like fucking 
a pack or some shit. Yeah. Oh no, I've seen the guy who did it, but he literally spent like three thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my right. gosh. Dude, imagine this was like have have anybody seen like two lines of boss damage? On unique reboot, yeah. I've seen um, people get it, but I've seen people get it. wait, aren't you keeping that Tony Boss? No, I have that like on like three. Oh, okay. Me lose you. oh okay, okay, yeah. Uh, unless I need party jump, no, it helps not. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Thirty percent ID, I have that already. Holy roll. Alright, punt it over. What do you do with the rest? <laughs> uh, you just extract? No. I have to rinse and repeat. What the hell? Uh, what he is on reg. This is a reg server. Yeah. Uh -huh. He would just buy him, right? Whatever like, how you, cheap would yeah. they be? Whatever's hard on reboot is easy on reg server. Oh Whatever's my God. easy on reg server will. is harder for reboot. <laughs> I shit you not, it's, it took like two hours to uh, rank these all up from epic to unique. <laughs> probably solo progressions, a lot easier on reboot. Yeah. Or a trail, walking the dog. Like farming Thank Miso you. and stuff. Yeah, like for sure. Very, very cheap. I think my mic was turned off when I was recording this segment, but I saw that King Centipede for 30 bill, which puts me at about 80 bill mezzers, I think, around at this point. Okay, so I have some more unique familiars to reveal. Um, as you can see, these are all epic at level 5, but I just don't have um, enough Fibirian Familiars to rank these guys up. I bought out all the Fibirian Familiars in the market over the past two weeks, and yeah, there's no more in the market for me to buy out, so that uh, I can't really rank this guy up until I find some more sellers in the market for Fibirian Familiars. So for now, uh, just to like uh, free up some space in my Familiar window, I just thought I might reveal some and then you know, disenchant them uh, if I don't get anything here. So let's just keep on going. Thirty five boss, okay.
Alright, that's it, I guess. Ooh, 35% ignore defense. That's not too bad either. I have one B pop cube here, but I have more. Okay, got nothing. Okay, some more. Please, come on. Let's get some two lines. Oh my gosh. I have eight cubes left. I don't think I'm gonna get anything better than this. I think the play is I just keep this. I think I have to, right? Oh, that's annoying. Oh my gosh. 18 and 9. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep it for now. I'll probably work on my um, emblem instead. Kill someone. I'm, I'm actually gonna kill someone. What the? Oh, I'm so angry right now. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm depressed. So I'm gonna just do some familiar. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of HP restorers.
Not a single boss farm half. Huh? <sighs> That's just unlucky. I'll just say it's unlucky. The only familiar that was actually usable was a HP familiar, but I think I already have um the exact same lines, do I not? The nearby allies. Oh no, these two are different to each other. Holy crap, I can heal so much then. Eh, small win then. I guess I can use this for like V Healer. Um like for these combinations. This is like every single combination I'm pretty sure I have. Was this? <laughs> As you can see, um, I have all these familiars all ready to be revealed. So it actually took me a while to do this, but I actually finished this a while ago. I just haven't been bothered ranking them up to unique because it actually takes like two hours ranking up 80 familiars to unique. So it actually takes a bit of time. So yeah, let's just go revealing again. Hopefully we'll get uh, two lines of boss damage or some oh my gosh oh, so, or something like that Oh my gosh, 8% int. <laughs> oh Actually, I'll just keep this, uh, might be useful for, like, uh, some bosses. Oh, 6% attack.
30% ignore defense. Thirty percent no defense again. <laughs> oh jeez. Wow, it'd be like that sometimes. I only got two thirty percent no familiars, and that's not even that good to be honest. Man. That's pretty rough. Oh wells. Oh, and if you guys were wondering why I have three different types of familiars here, it's because generally um, it's been hard to just focus on one. So before I was just only focusing on Fiberian familiars and just buying them all out from the market. But uh, in doing that, there were some days where there'd just be no fam uh, no familiars, like no Fiberian familiars in the market, and I'd be absolutely screwed. So I decided to d diversify this risk and go with uh, the other familiars as well. The Sendions seem pretty hard to find in the market as well. So I'll probably just be focused on Transcendions and Forbearance for now. Alright, and with the momentary uh, event coming to a close, I do need to spend my 18k coins on this guy. So uh, let's just buy some stuff. So I'll just buy 2 XP coupons first. Alright, let's just buy all the flames first. Uh, how many can I get? I can get 20. And how many of this? I can get 30. And on this, I can get 30. Okay, I have 7k. Oh, I could just get a Karma Star Force scroll and call it a day there, but I feel like that's a bit of a waste as well. Oh, I also need to spend this as well, huh? Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's just buy... Oh my gosh. Okay, well, actually, actually I'll just keep this for now because I might want to get some stuff depending on the outcome of the flaming session. Yeah, I don't really know what I should really buy to be honest. There's nothing really that good for me to get. Like if only I had um, level 260, I'll be able to get some symbols for um, Cernium, but because I'm not level 260, there's like nothing here that I really need or want. I'll just buy this because I don't really have anything to use these coins on. So just out of like last choices, I'll get that. But yeah, um, I'll have to figure out what to use this 17 star Karma uh, Star Force on. I think with these red flames, I'll just, uh, I'll probably flame my Sweetwater Monocles because I think my Sweetwater Tattoo is going to get replaced soon anyway, so there's no real point flaming this. Oh, actually, uh, maybe I'll do this. Let's do this. It's 32. Luck. Jeez, it's hard to get something decent on that. But I guess it's to be expected because this is like a non KMS equip. But hopefully we can settle for 5% all stat. But you know, anything higher would be nice too. 
Oh my, oh, 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 oh. Okay, now that's definitely subtle. That is definitely a upgrade to what I had before. Uh, maybe I'll work on, huh. Maybe I'll just chuck it on this guy then. Damn it. Alright, uh, should I get black flames then? Or should, uh, should I just use these black flames on it? Just screw it. Uh, yeah, let's just use the black flames on it. Uh, if not, we'll just see if we need more eternal flames or black flames. If I can get 4% all stat, I'll just stop there. That's a bit better. But I think I'll still want to do this until I get at least 4% all stat. Or a bit more than that, ideally. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll just stop there. So this guy didn't increase at all. But rather than using on this guy, because this barely will give me any flame score increase, I might use it on something else. Like, uh, let's see. Between CRAs, so this is, I guess, the weakest out of these, but not by much. Um, One thirty-two, one thirty-one, one thirty-one. Okay. Oh wait, this is the hat I actually used for bossing. Hmm. This is about a hundred. Okay. Cool. I think I'll use it on this hat then. Um. Hopefully, I can get some more luck on this. Okay, that's fine. And I think, huh, I mean, I could just get these pet scrolls and scroll as new carrot because I just realized that I do have another carrot in my inventory. Where is it? Yeah, right here. Um, so this might actually be the go to just spend this because honestly, I don't really need a black flame anything uh, like too urgently. Everything's pretty much like there. Well, I guess these two are going to, oh wait. This is going to be replaced, so I don't really care about this. Uh, but I'm just working on a second shoe. Um, but yeah, I think the go is then for me to actually just use um, my points on the pet scrolls. Or I could actually use uh, the weapon uh, scrolls on my Meister Ring. Because my Meister Ring doesn't have any like decent... Uh, like scrolling so maybe that might be a bit better let's do that actually uh, so instead of the pet equip I might just do the my stalkers that might be the better play yeah let's do that okay cool so I'll just get two of these yeah it's cuz um I don't really have much use for uh, the black flames at the moment it's just like most of my flames are like pretty much there, so I don't feel like there will be like a big chance for it to increase. Whereas with like something like my Meister Ring, where I obviously just used um like 
the 30% spell traces to get it. Uh, I probably have better use there to reset this and get some like a better scrolling on this. So this is off event, but I don't really care, whatever. Let's just arc in a sense it to make sure that it doesn't reset. Okay, fail. Okay, nice. So as you can see, it's Arc Innocenced, so it's got back uh, its stuff, and I can just drop this on this. That'll give me 4 attack, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, and then I can throw this on this guy. Ooh, I got 5 attack. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. So then I have one more um, slot to get back on this. So that's pretty good overall. I'd say that's a W so far. Alright, and... With the Savior patch, uh, we get a hyper burning character, and I think a lot of you might have wondered like what character I'm going to burn, and I'm actually going to burn a Shade. Um, Shade and Hayatos have crit damage Legion blocks, so you can see here that currently it's at 5% crit damage, but once you get this guy to level 250, it's 6% crit damage, so that's a 1% uh, boost to the damage, which isn't going to amount to much at the moment, but I'm sure when we progress further into the game, that 1% crit damage will mean a lot more. So um, it was either between a Shade or a Hayato uh, for me. And yeah, I think it really doesn't really matter which one I pick, but I'll just do Shade first and get this guy to 250. So to prepare for this, um, I will need to get some better gear for this guy. I'll probably just get the Absas for the shoe, um, gloves, cape, and uh, shoulder, and Arcane uh, for the weapon. And then I just need to get this guy to level 202 before we can actually start grinding away. Uh, most of these equips, um, as you can see, they're like pretty crap. So we'll need to get some better gear on this guy before we actually begin with that. Alright, and I'm back on Sean Bob. And uh, yeah, I have some more of the coins leftovers. So you know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to buy 10 of this. Uh, maybe I might just buy 2 of these just for myself. Alright, thank you Jono. Cool, and I have some more black cubes and uh, red cubes as you can see. And yes, I'm going to call them black cubes and red cubes because uh, that's what I remember them as. Cool, so maybe I'll just start with the Karma Flames. Wait, jokes the uh, trade was unsuccessful because I didn't have enough space in my inventory. Alright, we actually got it this time through. Um, so yeah, Karma Blacks on this guy first. Hopefully we'll get something that's slightly better, but not really a hassle if we don't. Oh, 96 luck. Oh, unlucky. Thought I saw something. Oh, ninety six and four, no. Nope. Nothing. Oh, actually, I do have more flames from Legion Shop because I'm not even using this account anyways. Might as well. Uh, oh, I can get heaps of these. Cool. Let's keep on going.
All right, bad luck. More importantly, we have these uh, karma cubes to go through. So we have 20. Alright, bad luck. The only thing I'm really going to settle for is um, at least 27% luck. Uh, just because I have 33%, yeah. So if I have 20% here, I'm not going to really care too much. I only really want like 30% or more to uh, kind of like have it on par with the shoe I bought. Because I bought a 33% luck shoe. So it doesn't really mean too much to me if I don't get anything like that. Alright, nothing. That's okay. Oh, I'll keep this. Bad luck. Um, but yeah, at least the flames there though. Alright people, so with this new patch, so Savior patch, uh, we have Miracle Time for specific equips for each uh, day. And looking at my gear, there's obviously some equips that aren't at Legendary, so I thought one thing we can do to celebrate the end of our free-to-play series is to actually buy NX each miracle time sale so as you can see today's for hats and currently i'm sitting on about 160 bill mesos and i want to have as much mesos as i can for shining star force so i'll probably just be buying nx instead so yeah i think it'll be pretty fun in terms of hats today i have this guy so this is my main damage hat and it's at 21 stars and double legendary as you can see the hat i have equipped on has only got legendary uh mainline so I'll probably just try and get legendary bonus potential with that skill cooldown uh, line on it. So my budget for each of these equips would probably only be like 40k per equip. So I'm only planning on getting around 20 bonus potential cubes for each of these equips. So yeah, um, let's just have some fun then. Alright, so I charged 50k NX and holy crap, it's actually been like two years since I bought NX. Anyways, the way I'm going to buy this is I'm going to be buying these um, individually but with reward points. So in doing that, I'm only spending 16.8k NX for a set of 10, whereas a set of 11 costs 24k. So I could actually buy like 14 at the cost I can buy at 11, so I'll be doing that. So for now, I'll probably just buy like, I don't know, like a, maybe 15 for now and see where we go. Oh yeah, this only works because I have heaps of reward points. So if you don't have much reward points, then you're probably better off just buying this. But if you have a lot of reward points like I do, then you can probably just buy it like this and it's going to be much cheaper. Alright, I'm going to just buy 15 because that's around 25k NX. I'm just really hoping that we can get this guy to legendary pretty early though. Because I don't really want to have to use it too much. Alright, let's go. Okay, epic. Stock, okay. Okay, unique. Just one more, legendary, let's go. Hello? Why is it so laggy? Holy crap. Come on. It's to tear up. Jeez. Oh, yes. 
Oh, that feels good. That feels so fucking good. Oh, I didn't drop plus five. Hmm. Now I want the skill cooldown. Okay, I can get that slowly though. But I'm happy that I got that legendary uh, tier up at least. Actually, maybe I should just try and get that skill cooldown line on this. Yep, I'm just going to buy some more now. <laughs> Alright, now give me that skill cooldown, please. Holy crap, is it that hard to get skill cooldown? I think I might just buy some of these. I just really want the skill cooldown line right now. Come on, give it to me. Oh. <laughs> okay, nice. That's pretty worth it. That's three second cooldown hat then. Okay, so with this extra um, bonus cube, I'm just going to use it on this. Okay, I've got absolutely nothing. <laughs> Very good. Oh my gosh, I just found the biggest opportunity in the market. So as you can see, with Shiny Star Force coming up soon, uh, we have some apps that equips that have been really mispriced. They're like 500 mil for some reason. So what I did was I bought an app slab box for 100 mil and I was like, hmm, I need a pirate equip, but if I can sell it for 500 mil, I'll take that, right? So I just put it up for 500 mil, not expecting to sell it. And voila, look at this, we sold it. So it really shows how much arbitrage there is with like um, buying Apsa or Arcane Box services and just selling it straight onto the market. So that's probably something I'm going to take advantage of um, over the next few weeks. Four hundred and seven. Let's go. Ooh, box, box, box. MVP. All right, one cube at a time. So I just did some more weekly bosses. So hopefully we can get something a bit more. I just want my 12% attack back now. <laughs> nope. Uh, nope. Oh my fucking. I'm gonna kill someone. And my last one for now. Come on. Fuck. Yo. Hello guys, so morning voice, but um, what I just did this morning was I reached out to a few people who were selling the arcane boxes um, in uh, Bera, and I have 42 bill on my Sean Bob account, which came from, uh, wait, 362, which came from uh, selling of some equips over the past like few months. Yep, and um, I could have just bought it on my Matt Walker, but I realized that because I have mezzos on this guy, uh, if I tr if I were to transfer this mezzos over to my Nightwalker, I will be losing a bit of mezzos from tax. So that's why I decided to just buy it on this character. And with this, this is going to be nice because we have the fodders for our arcane shoulder. And these sell for 1.7 bill at the moment. So I'll probably be listing these up in the auction house for 1.7 bill. And if I can sell some of these in the process, then we're just making like a free 500 mil profit in the middle right because i just bought these for 1.2 bill each so i'm kind of leveraging my opportunities while also saving up for uh ha having as many fodders as i possibly can and i think i have one more person to buy i think i think it's this guy yep so 1.2 bill plus 450 mil 1.65 bill Cool. Oh crap. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, perfect. So with that, we have four fodders, but I'm also going to be listing these up in the auction house, as I mentioned. And if I can sell it in the time, then perfect. We'll just have some more measures to deal with. Okay, so they... Uh, all right, so it looks like they've actually dropped to 1.4 bill, which is still okay because um, I'm probably just going to not 
buy these but I'm probably just going to list it up as like somewhere similar to this and yeah I'll just wait for these to sell out because what I've noticed with shoulders especially is that it's actually hard to find shoulders at uh, a reasonable price so the past few sales have been at around 1.3 1.4 but if you see before that it's all at 1.6 uh 1.7 there's also those 1.5 1.4s but I think I might be happy just to hold out um just putting it at 1.7 and see if anyone buys it, or maybe even just 1.6. Hmm, I see this arcane shoulder for 37 bill. I'm actually thinking about this because I think based on historical prices, 33% um, have actually been selling for 37 bill. So hmm, maybe it is actually worth around 7, 37. Oh, I guess it sold for 30 bill here, but this was in May. Um, but the truth of the matter is that currently we have Shining Star Force in two weeks and how likely will it be for me to find a 33% arcane shoulder for below 37 bill? Kind of unlikely I would say. And even this might actually sell out pretty soon. So do I really think that the person who's selling this would drop their price? If I was them, I'd keep it at this price for at least three more days and see if anyone nabs this at this price before selling. And Within the three days, I think someone would actually cop this for 37 bill. So I think it's better I just buy this now. I'm on Sean Bob right now, so I have 50 bill at the moment. And yeah, I wanted a way to get rid of the Mezzos on this account anyway. So maybe this will be the perfect thing to buy. And with this being purchased, that means I no longer have to focus on the arcane shoulder that I had um, before. And I was just cubing around. So I can just work with this one instead. I guess for those of you who are interested in what I've been selling, um, I've been getting some pat marks from CPAP randomly. <laughs> um, I sold my uh, some other stuff, so this, is, this was my um, old Absab gear, and I also sold a hybrid Spectrum goggle for 10 bill. And of course, yeah, there's just the odd Chaos Cubic Blades here. Yo, and I cleared Hard Lotus today. I've been practicing Hard Lomian for the past month, and in episode 2, you can see all the attempts that I did to get to the point where I could clear them. So they've just become my weekly bosses that I do every single week now. I also cleared Normal Lucid today for the first time ever on this account. So I previously just did Normal Lucid in a party back in the days, and yeah, it's just we got to a point where we can actually solo it. The next bosses on my chopping block are going to be Hard Lu Will. Let him cook. I think your lap didn't go off. Oh, yeah, it didn't. You're right. That could be the difference maker. True. I believe. Let's go. Give me the money. Seven hundred fifty dollars. Oh my oh. god. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you got an iCog. Isn't that like ten cents? With the magnificent potion that we got from this event, Savior Patch, um, I just decided to use it on my Nightwalker, of course, and get into level two sixty. So with two sixty, I can actually access Grandis now and finally start my grind for Sacred Symbols. Grandis hadn't even come out when I quit playing this Nightwalker, so I was actually sitting on max arcane symbols for quite a while, and I even have spares here because back then we believed that um, these symbols would go up to like level 25. So I, I had these prepped up before, but yeah, now I'm pretty excited because we can actually get some more symbols and get some more like gains with that. But with that, it means that we have to start doing the Grandis storyline, and that's going to require going through the prequest. So I'll probably just have some fun going through that tonight. All right, finally we reached um, the end of Thernium. <laughs> Thernium actually took a bit of time. It took about like an hour and a half. I thought it'd be a bit shorter, but it is what it is. Um, and yeah, with this, I believe we get our sacred symbol, which is nice. So it's our first sacred symbol here. Uh, level one. <laughs> Once again, we start from level one, starting from scratch. We have a few sources of sacred symbols at the moment. The first being the event shop, which we can get a hundred of these from. Oh, that's a lot. But it costs a lot of um, wonky coins as well to get. Another source here is from the symbol selectors. Um, and I'm definitely going to get the wonky pass tomorrow as well. And the other source is the Cernium research daily quest that we complete to get 10 of these uh, sacred symbols every day. Um, and yeah, with this, I'll probably just do this slowly to get my sacred symbol up, obviously, but right now it's 1am, so I need to get ready to go to sleep because I work tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, big sale this morning. So I sold the arcane shoes that I've been um, wearing basically on my Nightwalker back then. So the flame was pretty decent at 91 and 5 all stat, and I managed to sell it for 12 bill, which I think was a pretty decent uh, price for it. 
But yeah, um, with this we have an extra 11 bill. So I think we're now on like a total of like 165 bill for Shining, which is going to be pretty exciting. Okay, so as you can see, I have um, these boss familiars to reveal again. Um, and yeah, I guess not really much to say. It's just let's get revealing. Uh, ooh, oh, no. Okay, I thought it was going to be two lines of HP. Oh, 5% loss. Oh, no. Ooh, I don't think I want 5% attack. Oh, I'll just keep it just in case. Oh, I don't know. Might cope him. What if I get 120%? Boss damage, who knows? Oh, 14 attack. <laughs> Is 14 attack better than 5% all stat? Probably not. Okay, item drop familiar. Uh, large HP, nope. Large MP, nope. Item drop. Uh, nope. Uh, 5% lock. Nope. Total damage. Large. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay, that's a hit. This is a hit. 30% ignore defense and continually restoring large HP and MP. Okay, that's good. Okay, okay. That's not bad. I'm happy to settle with that, but if I'm able to get something better, or something as good, would be nice. But that's really good, because uh, currently, before, I had the IED familiar as just um, just a 30% or 35% IED familiar, but I think with that, I'll be able to replace that, because it has a secondary line that's useful as well. Uh, MP... Four percent chance to auto steal. Oh, item acquisition. <laughs> I'll just keep it for copium. I don't think it's gonna do anything, but might as well, right? Oh, item drop. No. Uh, small amount. Ah, uh, reflection. Oh, oh, oh! This was close. A second. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. This is a very interesting one. <laughs> I'll keep that. Uh, by large... Oh, oh no. Okay. By large amount and 3% attack. Not crit rate. Uh, party members, HP. Nope. Magic attack. I don't even use magic attack. Dex. Crit damage. Okay, that's an interesting one. Nope. Don't want that. Okay. Come on, next on. Give me something. Item drop. Nope. 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 Oh my gosh. That's a lot of uh, <laughs> that's obtained in one line. 7% chance of auto steal. I think auto steal is actually a, a uh, copium. I'm pretty sure like, I don't know, some people are saying that it's just like, it's only when the familiar attacks that you get that extra 7% attack. Like, if the familiar last hit. Oh, uh, no. Oh my. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I'll just keep that for now, but I don't think I'll use it. What the heck is that? Um, no. Come on, give me 40% boss damage, please. That's all I want. Because I have enough 30% boss damage familiars. I don't really need the 30% anymore. It's not good enough for me now. Uh, no. 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 Oh, I didn't drop. No. Six percent strength. Seven attack. Woo! We winning. 
Uh, party jump. No. No. Uh, no. Uh, party speed. <laughs> Alright, 40% boss. Let's go. No. And lucky last. No. Okay. Okay, and I just charged some NX. Um, the reason why I bought NX is because Shining Star Force is next week Sunday. And currently, because of that, the Mezzo NX rate is really bad. Um, it's really unfavorable if you wanted to buy NX. And also, I also needed to have as much Mezzo as I can in my inventory. Which is why I decided to just buy NX um, uh, straight out. But yeah, with that, I have 41k NX. Here it is. Um, <laughs> Sean Bob is a pay to win player, guys. Anyways, uh, so yeah, with this, we get the Wongsteront Wong pass use, which means we can get uh, two of these, which is actually quite a lot, because that's 80 sacred symbols I could get. And this is going to help me grind a bit faster, because I don't really have um, sacred symbols, sacred forge right now. So I really needed some more of those to up my damage a bit more, um, which is why I wanted to get it. So I'll get this now and also go to the event shop and pick up those um, sacred symbols. Obviously I can't buy out the whole shop yet, but I'll be able to get like a fair bit in. I'm getting these sacred symbols finally. Uh, let's see, sacred symbol, claim. Okay, cool, claim, cool. So we have 80 of these, so I'm can I can get, uh, yeah, I'll do 40 at a time. I don't know if I have enough slots. Oh yeah, I do. Oh, cool. Um, and then this. And then we'll go to the event shop and basically yeah, just buy all of these. Um, how many can I buy? I can buy like 49, I think. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Uh, 49. That's some quick math. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, so I can open another 50 of these. Get this. All right, cool. So where am I standing at? I'm at 100. Yep. Okay. Cool. So I need so. Oh wow. You need a lot of sacred force to um sacred symbols to go up, uh, which means I need eight days so I can get to level four, and then level four to level five is probably gonna be like another like 20 days. Okay. That's gonna be a while. Oh, jeez. I can't actually start grinding like well until then. Because right now, I'm actually grinding with uh, my damage gear on. Because I don't have enough damage to uh, one-shot these. Even with my damage gear, it's like very close. But that's because I'm lacking in Arcane Force a bit. Oh, although, I'm starting to get to a point where I can do a bit more damage. So, maybe I can equip the drop gear soon. Especially like, after I get 50 uh, level 5 symbols, I should definitely be able to do it with um, drop and mezzo gear on. But until then I probably just need to rely on grinding with my damage gear, which is a bit of a shame because I'm losing out on mesos, but yeah, it is what it is. I just want to get to 275 as soon as I can so I can unlock Odium. So yeah, that's gonna be like the plan on this side. Uh, just get to 275, unlock Odium, and then we'll start doing like the symbol grind from there. All right, guys, I am back on uh, Sean Bob, so yeah. Sean Bob here, <laughs> and I have my Arcane Thief cape, and today is double miracle time for capes, and uh, basically I was just going to get bonus potential cubes like last time, but I realized from the event shop here, we can actually get free bonus potential cubes. Um, I can only get 8 here, so I might just see what I can get with those 8. If I can get the tier up, it'll be nice. If not, then uh, it is what it is. The aim is, of course, to get to Legendary, so... That's going to be the ideal case. Okay, that's epic. Oh, I don't have mezzos. A few more. Come on. Okay, unique. I just want that legendary. Ooh, 8% all stat. Nah. Come on, legendary, legendary. No! Yo, so my friend Jono said that he has some extra BPOC cubes that I can use on uh, my cape so with the double miracle time again with the cape i'm just hoping to get the tier up to legendary so thank you to jono for that yo oh my gosh 
my boy Jono pulling through with this. Oh, thank you. That is so nice. Ledge, ledge. Bro, I got a fucking that, ring. Is that normal? That's normal. I got a fucking That's ring. Crazy. Congrats, bro. bro. How much? How much, is, how much does it go for? Two bill. Two bill. Oh my gosh! My Lord God. of the Rings. Oh, that's fucking insane. Oh, Dude, I, like, you know, did you notice that I literally switched my gear, like, while I was hitting it? Because I was like, wait a fucking second, I yeah, can't yeah, actually yeah. get it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's awesome. That's huge, oh, bro. I'm, pr I'm so proud oh of you. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so big. <laughs> Alright. I, I think I deserve it. Right? No. Hateable. <laughs> No hands, but uh. You got a TP and you fucking still stayed under him. <laughs> fucking. Yeah. <laughs> it's alright. Eye oh, patch. patch. That's crazy. Let's go. Oh. oh. Not even a single box? Really? Oh, I got a violet. Oh, I got two solid cubes. Oh, man, that's a W, man. These go for 70 mil each. Alright guys, that's the end of episode 3, and now tomorrow is a long awaited 5, 10, 15 event. Episode 4 will be all about the shiny Star Force session that I partake in tomorrow, and I'll actually be streaming this 180 bill Star Force in session on Twitch in about 12 hours time, when reset hits. So please come along if you want to see how that session goes. Thank you all for watching and hope to see you guys soon. Thanks!